Good day, RK Figs here, um, coming at you today with another video. Uh, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about uh, sometimes as fig growers, we get a tree uh, that has a fig that we don't like, or maybe a fig that doesn't grow in our specific area due to the absence of the fig wasp, which is located in the Mediterranean and certain parts of California. Uh, we don't have that where I am, and this particular tree that was supposed to be such an amazing tree turned out to be one of those trees that doesn't grow in uh, my area. So I have two options. One, I can throw it out. And two, I can graft a different kind of fig on this fig tree. Okay. Uh, before I continue, I just wanted to say if you're not following my channel, please follow my channel share the video with anybody you know who might be interested in figs or gardening in general put a like and leave me a comment if you have any questions okay so what i've done uh with this and i have grafted before it's not something i do very often i'm probably not that great at it although i have had some success in the past uh i have grafted two different kinds of figs on one tree and what I'm going to do here is I'm going to attempt to graft one, two, three, four, five different figs on this tree. Okay. And I got some cuttings and these are the cuttings that I have. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to attempt to graft some of these cuttings on this tree. Okay. And... Some of them are really big. Generally, what you'd want to do is you want to get something relatively the same size as the branch. And this probably isn't going to work with any of these branches. So we'll see what happens here. I'm going to start off with this one here. Okay. And maybe we'll start off with, uh, let's go with this branch here. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off by, I don't need this whole thing. Typically you just need one node. Okay. So you see these nodes here, there's a node here, a node there. And to be honest with you, these don't look like good nodes. You probably want a node that looks like it's, I mean, this may be a very good node, but they're saying, Everybody out there says that you should get a node that looks like it's about to, to go. So you see this here, that looks like it would be a good, a good node because it's already looks like it's budding. Okay. So I'm going to, I'm going to do that. Uh, the thing is, this is much thinner than, uh, the branch here. So maybe what I'll do, I'm going to, I'm going to try to go here. Okay. And I'm gonna, because this is so weirdly shaped, uh, you know what? I hate to do this, but I'm going to cut this off here. Let me, let me just cut this off here. It's okay. And I am going to cut this here. Okay, and what I'm going to do, let's hope I get this right, I haven't done this in a while, is I'm going to try to shave this down so that it looks a little bit like a point. Okay, this is the most basic type of graft but it also works really really well and you see that how it's it's kind of like a triangle there okay it's kind of like a like a triangle and what i'm gonna do is i'm going to try to get the same width i'm gonna go with an area and try to get the same width and so what i'm gonna do is I will go here and if you do a rocking motion 
And what you want to do is you want to try to stay straight. I'm looking at that branch. I don't see too much green in there. What you want to do, if you look here, you see there's a there's a green cambium layer here. And that green cambium layer, you want to find the green cambium layer in the rootstock, which is the branch you're grafting on, and then you want to make sure this line touches that line. So I don't see it here, so I'm not gonna use this branch anymore. I'm going to go and I'm gonna use this branch right here. Cut that off, we'll get rid of that. And I'm going to go here and the same thing with the rocking motion. there and this I actually can see I'm gonna open it up a little I don't know if you can see that I can see green in there you see the green okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stick this in here bring it right in and what I like to do and it took me a while to figure this out but if you go a little bit on a slant you can kind of ensure contact. Okay. Let me see here. There. So I'm kind of on an angle. Okay. And that angle kind of has the green touching here. And then it will have the green touching on the other side. You don't want to go straight unless you're really good at this. And the scion and the rootstock are about the same size or the exact same size. This way they will marry each other. Okay. So right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap this up because you need to make sure that this does not dry out. So while you're wrapping it, you need to really make sure it doesn't move because, you know, you spent all that time positioning it and you need to make sure that it doesn't move. Otherwise, and I know it's kind of moving, but I'm making sure to position it. Nice and tightly, okay, and now I'm going up and I'm making sure to cover the bud only once. And the reason why I'm covering it once, kind of like the same thing as a cutting, if that bud starts to try to make it through, it will be able to do it because the parafilm is only one layer. And I know I kind of got a little bit more than one layer, but also I think it should be fine. Now, the other thing that you want to do, and this is a, a, another great secret if you're not as good doing this as I am, okay? You want to get some sort of a clip or something and get this really tight, okay? I'm gonna probably either use an elastic or a zip tie, and I'm gonna get this tight. So I'm gonna pause the video. Okay, I'm back, here's an elastic. I'm gonna cut this elastic. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put this around like this couple of times so that it's nice and tight all right 
and there we have a graft okay I think that should take about maybe three weeks and hopefully we'll see some buds coming out I'm gonna attempt to do one other graft here um, I'm going to try this all right this is pastelieri which is a really really good kind and I'm gonna attempt to do what's called a chip graft It gets really hard. The wood gets really hard when you're going underneath. All right, so yeah, it gets gets hard under the bud and then it gets really soft. So just watch your hands. Uh, probably better to cut the other way so that your hand is not. All right, so not the greatest. But there it is, okay? And you're wise to, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to attempt to put this right here, okay? And basically, that would mean I need it. yeah, I messed that up. Well, I totally messed this up, but that's okay because I got parafilm and I'm going to put it on a little bit of a slant and wrap it really tightly and we'll see what what happens we'll see if it takes or not and you can when you're wrapping you can kind of adjust So there you have it, a terrible chip bud graft, but one just the same. And this and this are two different grafts, two different varieties. I'm going to continue with these and we'll check back in on this tree in a few weeks.